So, welcome back to the next time video. We have the threads here that we can use for tambouring. So I've got a selection. We have a, a sew all type thread, such as you might use for dressmaking. It's strong, matte thread. We have an overlocking thread here, so um, easily available, cheap, um, big quantity. That's good too. We have a machine embroidery thread, which is rayon and glossy, and I use some of that in my turban jewel that we saw in a previous video. And we also have a metallic thread, again designed for sewing machines. So play with these different sorts of thread and look for threads which are strong and consistent and experiment. So I'm going to show you how to make the basic stitch. We're going to cast on first. So we have the thread held on a spool holder here on the side to stop it running around. Use it continuous so don't cut it off the reel. You're going to drape it over your left hand if you're left-handed, you'll need to reverse these instructions. I'm holding the end of the thread between my finger and thumb and keeping some tension on the thread there because I'm going to hook it onto the hook. So taking my hand underneath the frame, the hook goes down. I'm holding it not like a pencil, but vertically to the plane of the fabric. So it's sticking straight up and I've got my hand low. So my fingers are on the brass. I'm pushing it through. Remember that the hook is lined up with the screw and I'm just going to hook that thread on there and pull it through. As I pull it through, a little bit of pressure backwards against the back of the hook, so pressing on the nut side will clear a little hole and allow that to come through. Let go of the tail and pull that through. Hold the tail in your left hand, in your right hand, sorry. So now I'm going to make a little stitch slightly behind and to the left. I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. So back into the fabric, I'm going to wrap the thread around and I'm doing it clockwise and I'm holding it at about seven o'clock and I'm turning the hook clockwise to about two o'clock, pressing with my finger, my first finger back and bringing a loop through the hole. Now I'm going to step across the tail, point the hook to the right, so now it's pointing to three o'clock, winding the thread round anti-clockwise to three o'clock, turning the hook to nine and a bit of pressure with my thumb as I draw it out of the hole and there's the loop to start. So pulling backwards and forward, that's now tight. I can let go of this end and we're ready to start stitching. So stitching away from you. We're going to wrap and turn the hook anti-clockwise. So you can remember that with away anti-clockwise. So put your hook in at 12 o'clock, wrap the thread around, all the way to 12, so hold it away from you. Turn the hook towards you to six o'clock and draw it out of the hole. And as you do that, press backwards with your thumb as you clear the fabric. Come straight up out of the hole, tilt the hook back, roll it around vertically into the fabric, wrap anti-clockwise, hold the thread at 12 o'clock, turn the hook to six, backward pressure with the thumb as you clear the hole, straight up out of the hole, tilt backwards, roll the hook around to face the direction you're going in and repeat that. So in at 12, wrap to 12, turn the hook away from you to six. And make sure you keep enough tension on the underneath thread so that it doesn't jump off the hook and keep your left hand lower than the bottom of the hook underneath the fabric. So avoid bringing it up to the fabric, keep it low. So that's the first direction in tambouring. 
the next direction is to stitch towards you. So just bring your hook round now, keeping the loop on there. You've got the nut facing towards you. Go into the fabric at six o'clock and now you're coming towards you. So C clockwise. Wrap around clockwise to six, turn the hook to 12, turn towards you, in at six, wrap the thread round to six, turn the hook to 12, lift it out vertically, in at six, wrap around to six, turn it to 12, and you'll need a bit of pressure with your first finger to clear the hole. As soon as you've cleared the hole, tilt the hook backwards, swing it round to face six again, back in at six, wrap, turn, pressure, vertically out, tilt, roll it round. Coming towards you, wrap and turn clockwise. So you're wrapping the thread round to six o'clock, turning the hook to 12, a bit of pressure on the brass there with your finger to clear the hole, drawing straight up out of the hole, tilt and roll towards you. In at six, wrap to six, turn to 12, clear the hole. And we're gonna go back the other way. So turn the hook to face away from you. If you pull backwards and forwards, you can draw that loop down and this is drawback stitch. So you've made a little point on the end. Putting the hook in, at 12, you're going away from you, so that's anti-clockwise. Wrap all the way round to 12, hold that thread away, turn the hook to six, pressure with your thumb against the brass, draw the loop out of the hole, tilt and roll, in, wrap, turn, little pressure, tilt, in, wrap turn out. So the nut is always going into the fabric in the direction you're going towards and it leaves the fabric facing where you've been. That's another way to think about it. So now we're going to turn again. So I've completed the last stitch coming towards me, drawing the thread towards me, a little bit of backwards and forwards to draw that loop there down into the stitch in at six, coming towards is clockwise, wrap around to six, turn the hook to 12, draw up, tilt, roll, in at six, wrap, turn, bit of pressure, draw out the hole, tilt and turn. I'm doing big stitches here to make it easy to see Try and see if you can get the stitch length the same so that you're controlling how long they are because you'll need to do this when we add beads. And that's your first two basic directions for tambouring of which all the other directions are made. So now we've done some stitching in both directions, I'm going to show you how to cast off. So I've got my loop here, my final loop. I'm going to cut the thread underneath with a bit of length there, about 10 centimetres, about four inches to cast off with. I'm going to pull it through. So now both ends are on the top. And when you're working a design, if you keep all your ends on the top and then finish them off in one go, they're out of the way. They're not going to get caught up in your work and it's more efficient. So if this is going to be the decorative side and you are just stitching as I am here without beads, you need to take these through to the back. If we were beading, you'd cast them off in the top here. But I'm going to show you how to take them through to the other side. So put the hook through from underneath, wrap the thread around, as though you're making an upside down tambour stitch. So I'm holding the thread at six and I've turned the hook to 12 and I'm pulling it through. I'm going to do the same with the starting end wrapping, turning. So now they're both underneath. 
I need to take the frame out of the clamp So casting off, I've got the thread here that I want to tie off. I'm pushing the hook through with the nut facing downwards, wrapping the thread in front and behind, drawing it through sideways on. I've got a little loop there. So I'm going to wrap the thread around all the way to the top, turn the hook down and pull it through so I've made a little crochet stitch if you know crochet. Put the hook through again, wrap the thread over and under, turn the hook on its side, draw it through the back of the stitch. You have your loop there, the hook is facing upwards, wrap the thread over the top, under and back upwards, turn the hook down and draw that loop through and I would do that about three times to make sure it's secure. So I'm going to do it one more time. Hook is on its side, thread goes over the top and under, pull it through on its side, the loop up, wrap over the top, back up again, turn the hook down, pull the loop through and that's your thread finished off. Do the other one the same.